10E, receive a report and provide direction regarding appointment to the vacant to planning to commissioner position. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council. Um, it, as reflected in the staff report um, you have before you, the City Council previously considered and approved the uh, City Council, Joint uh, City Council Planning Commission subcommittee recommendation on the uh, timeline and the manner in which to fill the vacant Planning Commissioner position. Uh, that the deadline established by the City Council's action for submittal of applications was July 17th. Um, as of close of business that day, the City Clerk's Office had received two applications. A third application was submitted on Monday morning the 20th. Um, that is a relatively smaller than expected number of applications for what is a important um, commission position in our in our city organization and as such uh, with brief consultation with the city council members of the joint subcommittee um, staff is returning to you with uh, for your consideration of extending officially extending the deadline um, through the end of August uh, to include uh, both uh, the additional opportunity and timeline to submit applications, but uh, time for some additional community outreach. In that regard, I would note that the city clerk's office did uh, see to it that the uh, vacancy was identified three times in the local newspaper. Um, the opening has been, it was posted on the city's website and the city clerk's office mailed uh, uh, via direct letter to all of the uh, on-file applicants for city boards and commissions that have uh, been received over the past couple of years. Um, in each, it mailed to each of those individuals who identified the planning commission as being among their preferred um, options for appointment. Um, so there was already a fairly broad outreach, but uh, we're prepared to redouble that effort, um, see if we can generate a few more applications by direct contact to existing commissioners and board members to encourage them to um, talk it up in the community and recommend uh, persons who may um, have an aptitude, a skill set, and be interested. Um, we would see to it that it is identified uh, in possibly an article in the newspaper, um, continue outreach via uh, postings on our bulletin boards and on the website and see if we couldn't generate a few more applications. Um, the timeline that's proposed uh, with the, the ad additional extended application period for another um, just over 30 days would still allow for appointment, uh, consideration of applications and appointment of a planning commissioner prior to the September 15th um, meeting of the planning commission, um, if that's of interest to the city council. Again, at, after the close of the application period, if it were extended that long, it's fairly tight timeline, but it's achievable in staff's uh, estimation. With that, uh, we're happy to answer any questions or to take any additional direction that the City Council may have regarding recruitment for this important position. Okay. Any questions or comments for staff? Okay, I have a question. On, I, I did go to the website, and I see the announcement on the cover page. Uh, it's right there in the front, but it, there's not a link to, I don't believe there's a link to the questions or the, the, the actual uh, uh, description of the duties. I think it, correct me if I'm wrong, because I think the, the only thing that was highlighted was the email to the city clerk. So if you had any questions or you were interested, you had to contact the city clerk. So if that's true, I would suggest that you put an availability of that questionnaire or, you know, that uh, what we decided would be the, the questions that they would have to answer if they apply. Yeah, I, be, I believe your, evalu your observation is correct, and we can certainly include the information so it is readily accessible online as well as it has been readily accessible uh, through the city clerk's office. And I think the clerk has been 
diligent in, in making sure that um, any interested person has access to the information timely. Real quick, I just wanted to ask Irene and Michael, the subcommittee, uh, would you suggest also we uh, continue, extend it? Yeah, yes, we did. One of the considerations was August, well, July and August are big months for vacations. Um, school comes back mid-August, so people who were on vacation weren't paying attention maybe. Um, that's, this is a second opportunity to get them. So that was one of the reasons, <coughs> part of our reasoning. Um, the third person who applied on Monday didn't really focus in on it until Friday, Friday night. I actually called and said, or texted them and said, uh, you know, this is there. And they said, oh, oh, okay. So I, it was my, you know, partly my neglect to not think about um, encouraging people to apply. So I, I'm encouraging all of you and all the other planning commissioners yeah, and all the other out. people to think about who should, who would make a good planning commissioner and could apply. I would then suggest uh, from what staff and uh, the subcommittee said to go ahead and extend it. Yeah, I, I agree. I think we have to make every effort to get the absolute best person we can. We have so much coming up, so very good. So do you need a motion or is that direction? Enough? No, we're, um, okay. We're fine with the direction. Thank you. Okay.